Hi, we're Derek and Jenna. We started our homesteading journey in 2011 with five small children, a garden, and a few chicks. Since then, we've added three more kids and a whole lot of animals. We're currently renting 37 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we raise grass-fed beef, grass-fed dairy, pastured poultry and pork, free-range eggs, and a large garden. We also have a couple pet goats, several barn cats, and a beagle. We're working on moving from growing just our own food to selling locally. We homeschool our children and are a full-time family with hopes and goals of farming for a living. We would love to welcome you all to follow our family on our journey. Hey y'all. I got the call this morning. Those of you who are homesteaders probably know what I'm talking about and have probably experienced this. The post office called. Our chicks are in. Am I ready for them? No. Had I forgotten them? Not really, but I kind of did because I've been so busy moving. Do I know what I'm going to do with them? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to go get them and I'm going to figure it out. And uh, I know what I'm going to do with them when I get them to the farm, but I have a couple of days until I actually take them there according to my original plan, but that might change today. So let me see what I can figure out. Can y'all hear that? I'm going to turn the radio off. Little chickies chirping. I got them. We're getting ready to leave the post office. Go get some uh, peat moss and head home. Well, I went to the. I was going to go to the hardware store and get peat moss, but they didn't open it until eight. So I drove on up to Lowe's. It is 8:02. They had peat moss bags, but they were all ripped open. Nothing was really missing, but they gave me half off of each bag. So I got two bags for the price of one. So that was awesome. And now, back to the house to do something with these chickies. Okay, I made it back to the house. And uh, Jack has been loading the trailer while I've been gone. He's making awesome progress. And, uh, whew, let's come over here and see what he's gotten loaded. We are, I gotta do something with these chicks. I have some ideas, but I wanna go in and discuss it with Jenna. Figure out what I'm gonna do first. So, yeah. He's got fence posts, racks, kill cones, uh, scrap metal, ladders, hog feeders, greenhouse, all kinds of stuff in there. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Look over here. This is exciting, y'all. Check these bees out. I think I'm going to try to move the bees tomorrow. Um... That's my plan at the moment. I just got—I got to set something up there for them today, so I can get them there. But yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, we've got the meat birds in the barn. I'm trying to get in here. The kids—the kids are already, I think, putting them in the in the uh, brooder. What we did was we did, we split the brooder in half again. So we put all of our meat birds that are two weeks old in the one half. These new ones are going in the other half for a few days and I have a great plan for what I'm going to do once I get them all. Uh, they got to be swapped sides, girly. No, because uh, the heat lamp is going to go over this side, baby. We don't have any other heat lamps, remember? Yeah, but I thought Mary should put the Yeah, but then she changed her mind. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, she changed her mind because I told her when, you, when she found out we didn't have any other heat lamps. All right, sorry, y'all are in my face. Anyway, we are going to put the two-week-old birds in this half of the brooder. The uh, three-day-old birds are going in this half of the brooder for now, and then we're going to—I uh, don't know—we're gonna. I've got another plan for when I get to the farm, but I just need a few days to get there. One hundred and fourteen meat birds and zero dead ones during shipment. That is awesome. That is really, really good. We have been getting chicks from Bob's Biddies for two years now, and uh, they have been awesome. It's really great customer service. Uh, very, very affordable. 
and um, it's it's helping out. It's just it's it's a married an elderly married couple, and they are just super nice. Every time I call them, I have to call to place orders. Actually, you can do it online now, which is yeah. This year they've got more help. Uh, they've got some uh, I think college students that are helping them this year, and uh, but usually when I call. I'm on the phone for at least 15 minutes because we just get to talking. So, anyway, all right, we're getting ready to haul a load to the farm. The other duallys are going to be here loading the trailer, the box trailer, and we're hauling the stock trailer. So, we have all kinds of animal stuff in it. We've got some gates, we've got hog feeders, we've got uh, what all else is in there, Jack? Uh, fans, greenhouse fans. The whole greenhouse frame is in there. Uh, canoe. Yeah, the canoe. Check this. All these piggies. Well, they were all laying down. They were all sleeping like pigs in a blanket. It's gonna be fun moving these. Pigs are probably, arguably, the least cooperative farm animals when you're trying to get them to do something. But they can be really easy to move. So it just just depends on their mood for the day. Depends on if they know what you want them to do. That's the thing. So all right, we're off to the farm. What's up? I said, what you doing? Oh, hey, what's up? So, we're here unloading our friends from our favorite seed company, Seeds for Generations. They've showed up to help us unload. This is Jason. Y'all have met Hi him before. Hi, y'all. So Good to see you again. You're, you're more uh, photogenic this time. You're, you're more, uh, last time you were like um, a deer in the headlights when you were I on was, camera. Remember that? I don't. I was probably I, tired. I'm sure. I've had a few tired videos lately. But anyway, so he was just taking pictures of our view. Man, it is awesome. We, I still, I haven't been able to actually sit and just take it in yet, still. But um, we're already unloaded. We've got a, some organizing of cattle panels and head gates and uh, feeders and hog feeders and all kinds of stuff we're gonna do here real quick. Then we're gonna head back for another load. So, all right, let's get this done. Back from that load, we're gonna take the flatbed trailer with Jack's truck on it. It is fully loaded with scrap metal, his truck is, but the power steering pump is bad. And I don't wanna drive it all the way from here to where we're moving for an hour because it would cost me a fortune in gas. So we're gonna put his truck on my flatbed, drive by the scrap yard and dump the metal off, get paid for that, and then haul it to the farm, then come back and get the box trailer and take it and unload it. That will put us in a great position tomorrow to haul Cookie, the goats, Jerry, Cookie's calf, and my bees there tomorrow. So uh, that's the plan as of right now. Uh, it was really nice of, of Jason to bring some of their kids and uh, help us unload there. If you all need any garden seeds or anything, look them out, We look them up. We have a link uh, below in our description. Uh, they have really good prices and uh, you're helping out a good family and uh, they ship super fast so uh, yeah y'all check them out if you need for if you for all of your seed needs if you need seeds all right we're stopped for fuel we've got Jack's truck with a load of junk on it on the way to the junk yard I guess we'll probably make 20 or so dollars off of this load I don't know what scraps bring in these days but I might as well take it and get paid for dropping it off and having to pay to drop it off. So uh, that's what we're going to do and take this truck to the farm. But first we got to stop for fuel. <clears throat> I've been averaging about 12 miles to the gallon uh, pulling all these minimum of 20 foot trailers. So that's not terrible, especially running on the interstate. If I were going like 60 miles an hour, I'd be getting like 15 miles to the gallon. But running I'm watching my fuel pump but running the speeds that I've been running I'm, I'm like like 70s I'm, I'm I'm getting worse fuel mileage but uh so it's just taking a while 
but on our way back to the farm. All right, we got Jack's truck jacked off here at the bottom. He just pulled up to the gate and we are headed back to the house to swap trailers. And we're back at the house, hooking up the box trailer to go back with a third load today. The kids are excited. They said they had a fish or a bass they wanted me to see. So let me see what they have in this bucket that they've caught. That is a perch, a sunfish. Yep. Did y'all catch that in the creek? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, take him back and turn him loose. But that's what that is. That's a sunfish. Did you catch that, Hofi? No, no, no. Did you catch it with a fishing pole? Yeah. Very cool. A and I also caught a fish. The bank's nice Daddy. right there, and this came out and grabbed the bank. Nice. Daddy. Very good. There was a fish that went swam up under my crock, and they caught it. Uh, uh, you caught a fish under yeah, your crock? Yeah, it swam in my shoe. <laughs> It was probably trying to hide under a rock and then it found out it was a stinky foot. <laughs> All right, so anyway, I have got to get some water before I get back on the road. All right, we're back at the farm. Getting ready to unload the trailer. Emma and I are actually going to uh, build a stand for our bee boxes because the bees will be here. I'm gonna bring them here first thing in the morning. So yeah, that's a, that's a lot there, Jack. Uh, Wow, awesome. So yep, just bring, start unloading and me and Emma will build, Emma and I are gonna build bee boxes. Jack, Josiah and Jeremiah are gonna start unloading the trailer. And whoever gets done first will uh, help the other. We're not building bee boxes, we're building stands for the bee boxes. So, all right, here we go. All right, y'all, we are, we've picked a spot for the bee boxes. Now I am not, a, uh, a bee expert. I've only had bees since the end of last summer or midsummer maybe. And uh, they survived the winter, so that's awesome. But I just like this spot here. There's a locust tree here, a locust tree here, and there's kind of a level spot here. So I'm just gonna put, build a little stand right here for my bees um, to put their boxes on. I kind of like this area, so this is it. We're gonna make them live right here. All right, y'all. There it is. And that looks out of level, but I put a level on it. <laughs> you know, when the ground is uneven, it can play tricks on you. But uh, that's awesome. Got me a little bee stand built. Bees are coming in the morning. We've got to go finish unloading this trailer, go to the grocery store on the way home, and then cook supper. It is 7.36 p.m. So it's an hour drive back to the house. We're gonna be like 9.30 eating supper tonight. Maybe even 10. That's not like us. Usually I'm asleep by 10. <laughs> but uh, we did get three loads in today, so that's a big deal. But anyway, um, I guess that pretty much wraps up this video. So you all, uh, please like this video, subscribe to our channel if you're not already, and also, uh, comment below. Let us know what you think about what's going on and because uh, we love to hear from y'all. It's very encouraging and uh, we will catch y'all in the next video.